see you've gathered the necessary materials. I'll get to work immediately. I have finished. The Monado Agni provides a high block rate. It is made from hard materials for increased durability. Damage is somewhat unfocused, but block rate is greatly increased. Up this weapon gives you the strength and power to succeed. Not really strength and power, but more along the lines of uh, defense. On that note, hey everyone, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. In the last episode, we took care of business now come off and put put one captain of the guard to rest. Now, it's our job to put the rest of the platoon to rest rest too. First off though, before getting um, ahead of ourselves, the Ronaldo Agni. If you want to put it in layman's terms, the Agni is focused is focused offense. Or the Ruja is focused offense. The Agni what you have here, that's pretty much focused defense. A lot of block rate, unfocused damage, as in like a large attack range regarding the auto attack, but does come with a nice hefty bit of de defense. So if you want to put it in an another way, this is like this is like if Ryan was a Monado. It's not ideal for what I would per press use for Shulk, but if you think Shulk is a bit too squishy and a bit too lacking in the defense, then they know what. This is a good way uh, to make Shulk a bit more tanky. Mm -hmm. Each of the Monados is gonna is gonna be useful in one way, shape, or another regarding separate stats. But it shouldn't be too, too bad. But now, with that said, we've got one final thing to do in Alchem So let's take care of that now. Hey. You have something to give to me? What could you have brought? What is this, huh? A fragment of Galvin's armor. Thank you for bringing this all the way back to me. Not only have you ended Galvin's suffering, you went so far as to bring back a keepsake to remind me of him. I never expected this. All I wanted was for him to put out of his misery. This is a token of gratitude from both me and Galvin. I cannot begin to express my gratitude, but please take it. We definitely will. Debuff plus. Wow. Debuff because of what's going on. There's... That's uh, that's a bit crude, but hey, Chasmol Force. Hey. What can I do? What will become of them? Are you willing to hear me out once more? A lot of people spoke to me after what you did for Galvin. It seems that there are others like Galvin, Telethia standing guard over the Imperial Palace. I believe they were once Imperial guards. A very strong sense of duty drives them to continue to fight for Alchemoth, but as Telethia, they have become a threat to the capital. One named Larshan gave his life to save everyone as he changed. The other Imperial Guards ended up exactly like Galvin, standing watch over the palace, even in their terrible new forms. I believe they feel the same way as Galvin did. They must be in great agony. Won't you please end their suffering as you did for Galvin? Our Imperial Guards were so devoted to protecting us. They must be allowed to rest in peace. That is the only thing we can do for them now. So you agree that I- Sorry. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> God damn bun mashing. I apologize for all the terrible things I've asked of you, but it means so much that you're willing to help. Looks like we're gonna go back to Alchemoth one more time. So let's not wait let's not waste any more time and do just that. We can pick to have this conversation a little bit of time, guys. Just saying. Mm -hmm. It's like, sure, what would you want to use? I would want to use ether. I don't know, just something I like doing. <laughs> anyway, though, now that we're back in the Imperial, Imperial Palace, this is when things are gonna come to a head, because you can't just eat, eat, easily run away from fights. As much as much as you wanted to. However, to uh, mitigate the amount of fights that 
we don't have to do. Thank you, game. Let's start off. Let's start off with the fight that we have closest to us right now. And not him. He he's no one. No one likes him. <laughs> he is the Tatsu of from the from the Imperial Guard. He's generic guard number five hundred and forty-two. Well, even the Imperial Villa isn't safe. Even though it technically didn't have any guards with it to start off with. But hey, I'm not complaining. In case you're struggling to find uh, Nilo's friends here. Nope. Here's two. How fan you open for you? And even though Alkamov is in dire, is in dire straits, you go back to the up or not, say do, if you wish. <laughs> so, uh, so there are a bunch of uh, Telepia spawn here. However, they are not the problem. But I would recommend on on the safe side, taking them out as quickly as you can. I wouldn't say really quickly, but just try and uh, try try and take out as much as you want, because you'll see in the end. I man just killed a Telefia with just a boot to the face. <laughs> because that's how dumb man rolls, baby. Still though, in a in a group mentality like this, it is it is good to take them all out at once because odds are you'll probably get a golden chest. Unfortunately we didn't because the game likes to tease just like this. Yeah. But hey ho. Now, now that we're done, on to, I would want to say our real prize, but kind of a downgrade from Galvin if that was e even possible. This is, this is a Telefi Galdo, and I'm just going to say right now, this guy is not impressive at all. Hear me out. You know, you know the enemies that we fought in like a massive group. That was kind of a challenge. You know, we had a lot of attacks going in. We actually like fell, fell, fell once or twice. Yeah. This guy is basically what just one of those guys without the numbers advantage, without the gang mentality advantage. He doesn't even have the cosmetic um, hide advantage that Galvin had. Stellar Arrow. That's really all he has. And it pretty much just gets mitigated pre pretty goddamn quick. So much so that he doesn't know what to do with himself because me and Dumb are just circling him like a fool. But, just like everything else, Drops an armor shard, and that guy's been put to rest. I kind of feel like the war blades is the next agape. Yeah. Every chest has war blades in it. <laughs> At least we're gonna get to left your does. And isn't that the weapon we created for Fior in a central factory? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> At least the first war blade was special, and the fact that it was the one opportunity in which it said, "Hey, guess what? You can go back to the ancient factory." You know, so I guess that's cool. It doesn't feel special anymore, because, like, with Shulk's Vanguard driver, you picked it up in the Bionis interior. It, it was special at the time, okay? <laughs> it, works in, it works in context. <laughs> it works in context. <laughs> that's like say, That's like saying, you know, my 10th birthday was good, but the rest of the birthday just suck now. <laughs> Some might agree, but you know, every day special. Either way, now I want to get back on topic really quick because we are gonna fight another Telefia here real quick, and this is gonna bring up another. This is gonna bring up. Well, it's going to emphasize my point. Here we have another bunch of Telefia chasing you, and they and they're gonna be pain in the asses. So, in order. For in order to make this more efficient for you and me. 
Not gonna die, because that would just be... Where? Okay. Shield on this, just in case. And I'll just go through this really quickly, so be right back. They disappeared like no, like hell, uh, like nothing. <laughs> Sunk down into what the water. Anyway, no, now that that's all, all out of the way, let's just take care of this guy in one big clump. Because let's just, let's just really, really bring home the point. It's Telefia Rekrof. Any NPC or any Telefia that you're seeing right now, Lacroft is not that different in any way, shape or form. And I wish I was joking. There's no different attacks, there's no different stats, there's no like special gimmick apart from the group mentality that you're having. I know they're positive of an army and pro probably at this point is probably called a hive mind right about now. <laughs> but I don't know, I just feel... Like, there's a lot of missed opportunity here. How you could have, like, each one specializing in different er areas. Like, maybe there, there uh, there's one that could specialize in offense, in defense, and, and everything else you can think of. Just having them being carbon copies of enemies and not having any, any size difference or anything like that. I mean, Galvin had that, for sure, but the rest... You're seeing it here now. We we were ganged up in such a big way, and yet it led to nothing. Mm -hmm. They don't eat. They don't eat even like drop. Like a a like drop gold, a gold chest, which were which would have been like nice. Yeah, they just dropped telethia rings, which we've got eleven of now. <laughs> Something that you could have done is they. Could have held like a secret art for like Melia because let's face it, I'm going to assume Melia was trained by the Imperial Guards for combat and whatnot. Maybe they could have held like the final art books for some ever some um, of Melia's arts. Because mm -hmm. it's not like this game's been giving out giving out Melia's arts like candy recently. So you could have done something special with that. Oh no, that's just me and just hoping for a, a bit of a bit of detail. At least you can have fun with the AoEs here, though. <laughs> yes, and we said it before dur uh, during our last Let's Play, but this area at this point in time in the game, like, oh, Tom Match is going in like a badass. <laughs> Charge! <laughs> <laughs> For I am Dunban. <laughs> and Dunban is taking them on like, like nothing. Meanwhile, I'm getting my ass kicked to show, but it's fine. It's fine. We're good. We're good. Anyway, a fun story about this portion of the game during our first playthrough. Um, well, I wouldn't say first play playthrough, mind, but um, when uh, we first got um, a capture card, a classic Elga Elgato SD, this was one of the first places in which we tried it out because we wanted to see how much the Elgato and at what point our laptop could, uh, could hold. And you know what? It hand it handled it just fine. In case you're curious, we we it's probably not. Mm -hmm. But oh no, this this place is always going to be special for us because it let us know that yes, video capture was possible. And you know what? YouTube was a possibility for us, and it all started in a humble a beginning where new when when it was on a plastic table. A tiny, a tiny computer screen that was only capable of 480 in which speakers, speakers uh, were dying and we had an iPhone as a microphone. Yeah, we were laying on the bed and recording Breath of the Wild. <laughs> uh -huh. And how things change. In case anyone's curious, we've now got two microphones, a direct capture, and you know what, a pretty hefty PC. But you know what, in some ways, I want to thank you guys, because with the following that you guys have given us, you know, just it, it just makes it worth it, mm -hmm. if that if that makes sense. So guys, if you're watching this video at all in any capacity, thank you.
I'm glad you're with us, Melia. You can rack up a lot of damage with AoEs. Uh-huh, you can. So, people like Ryan, Shulk, Dunban, or anyone else that has that matter with attacks are such as that. It's quite fun. Yeah, I can imagine like being Ryan in here and doing Magnum Charge and then War Swing. Just wailing on everybody. <laughs> you would do a lot of damage. <laughs> As always, it's also a good opportunity to get gold chests here. I like how there's one left. <laughs> the awkward guy who just didn't do his job, his job properly is now and now was just there going, ah. He was asleep. <laughs> what do I do? I'm kind of screwed. Please don't team up on me, I beg you. Well, buddy, you know what, you know what for you? We'll leave you. I'm sure. It... <laughs> <sighs> I tried, game. I tried. Go be right back. And now, one final Telephia to take down. Telephia K. Ekalin. As I said before, I wish I could say something unique about this guy, ironically, because he's not even a unique unique monster. Same enemies in which we took down for Nilo. And I can't tell, is there a size difference? I don't think there is. I don't think so. Oh no, I just feel like for guards, they've done them a disservice and I wish that wasn't the case. Because again, there's so many other things you could do, like give them, like give them text boxes, give them like little memos to have, or like, or like give them like little, little, a little room at quarters in which you can, I, I, I don't know, get, get a bit of per, a personality form or something. At the very least, change something about their color. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Or give them a unique design with, uh, with, uh, with subtleties of armor. At least it would have been nice, nice to have something. But with that said, though, that's all set. That's all set and done. And also, one more subtle thing that the game doesn't outright tell you or doesn't think to explain explain to you. If we go, if we go through to the affinity chart and look at the guards who are no longer with us, we get Galvin, who's gone. No, obviously. We get Lacroft, who we saw in text boxes, gone. Kaylin, who we just killed. We don't get to see Carl, who's meant to be the imperial. He's meant to be the imperial guard who taught, who taught Moritz or, or Morels. And I think there's even one more. Yeah. Also, La Chien. These two are not are not referenced in any way, shape, or form, except for one minor text in I don't know I can't think offhand on who on who or where there this NPC is, but it is kind of inclined to say that though uh, that these two didn't even get chance to transform into a Telephia. Instead, they got kind of mauled. During a transformation. <laughs> oh no. The unsung heroes, I suppose. And also kind of morbid to think about. How they didn't even get a chance to be get to left you. They were just halfway through before they got eaten. Oh no. But. For what's worth though. This is a nice view. Mm-hmm. Let's have a chat.
Check that out. How hot are we? Man, how come off? <laughs> what a place. Careful, another step and you shall not be seen tomorrow. How on Baroness did it did you get the entire city to flow? Amazing. It's quite simple, really. Right, yeah. Simple, she says. I can't get enough this breeze, though. It makes me feel alive. Brian, the last person who talks about a breeze, did not last long in Colony 9. <laughs> Just saying. You enjoy it up here. Personally, I am not entirely keen on such high places. <laughs> you what? You live on these floating rocks and you're scared of heights? I wouldn't put it quite like that. You can't hide it from me. I can see it in your eyes, Melia. Such an irritating boot. The truth is, when I was young, I fell from this very precipice. Ever since I cannot bring myself to look over the edge. You must be joking. Why? You're, you're seriously telling me you fell from here and lived? Yes, I cannot tell you how because I have no memory of it. That is one heck of a tale, Melia. Everyone has a story or two to tell. This is mine. Now come on, Ryan. Time to go. <laughs> Impressive. Not a story, Melia. You wing, you wing bunch are a funny lot. Shut was right. Ryan can be sweet every now and then. What you say? We got the heart of the matter, aka doing a certain amount of heart to heart, but we are far, far from done from Alchemy Off. Or heart to heart, rather. But, with that said though, we're done with Alchemy Off. At least for now. We've said some good things, we've said some bad things about the current state of Alchemy Off. But you know what? I will say, as far as the world, world, build, world building and narrative goes, and placement in the story, Alkamoth is one of my fav favorite regions in the entire game. From the very start, in which it brings up and uh, creates the Prison Island um, scenario, which I have spoke highly of, and will continue to, to do so, the, ele the element of Melia and Kalyan, it's such a good, it's such a great platform in which men, me, many of the great aspects about this game's narrative takes place. So much so, that now we can officially say Monolith thought so too. And that's why we will be back in Elkabov. But not now. We gotta let nature run, run its course. We got bigger fish to fry. But, that's it, as I said guys, we'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like it. If you don't like it, well then, I guess we'll see you back in Alkmoth when we next appear. And, if you want to subscribe to see more content in which, in which when and we do go back to Alkmoth, then, then please do. Very much appreciate it. But, but for now, we're gonna hand we're gonna hand things into Re, uh, Brazil, and then we'll see you next time. I can't wait to see how I can't wait to see how come off to its former glory. Mm-hmm. Hey, you brought something for me. Could it be? It is. You're so kind. Gavin will no longer be alone. I shall place them besides Gavin's armor fragments. Please take this. It's from all those who were protected by the men you saved. We owe you a great debt. 